Why do you like to be alive? There's an old man I sometimes visit who can talk your ear off for hours on end. You'll sit down with him, and he'll start to unload his stories. One after the other, of his old friends, his years in the radio industry, and his misadventures chasing women. Once, halfway through his usual ramble, he stopped, turned to me, and said, you know what, life is fun, and it stinks to know that I'm getting close to the end. Because the whole thing's just been so damned fun, that's always stuck with me. It's my belief that the person who's had the most successful life is the one who, when it's all said and done, has the best stories to tell his grandkids. Cause I believe one day it will get better and I'll be happy even though I'm not now. I survived cancer. I was given weeks to live. And miraculously got remission. Life post-cancer is a terrible struggle. Mentally and physically. But I wouldn't trade it for the alternative. I now get to watch my adorable niece grow up. I get to look at the world with a completely different perspective. I get to enjoy being with my wife and traveling the world as much as possible. Death would solve a lot of the pain I currently live with. But the eternal sadness it would cause my family would haunt me. The woods are lovely. Dark and deep. But I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep. 1. Robert Frost. Someone's got to feed my Tamagotchi. Cause there are pies to be eaten. BC I'm fastest sperm. Occasional serotonin. It hits me every once in a while. Also garlic bread. I'm terminally ill and the closer I've gotten to death the more I've just sat back and watched nature. Genuinely stopping to smell the roses. It's the little things in life that make life worth living. The family of birds in a nearby tree communicate on with each other. The dog you wake up every morning to and can't wait to see you and be around you. I even oddly lie watching the trees rustle on a windy day. Watching my fish swim around their aquarium. Valuing the time and memories I make with my wife and friends. People that say life isn't worth living need to try their very best to smell the roses. Watch the sunrise or sunset. I know sometimes life really can get us down in the dumps but life is truly beautiful. Edit. Just woke up and checked all the notifications. Thank you everyone for the awards and the very nice words. It's very humbling to get so many beautiful responses. I've done my best to read and like as many as possible. One comment I noticed is about how close to death we come. My fate was luckily decided by my oncologist. I was in ICU last year. I was septic and I had a super bug the doctors couldn't get on top of. My kidney had completely stopped and I only have one kidney. Fortunately when the ICU had the various teams come together to decide whether to continue or let me go. My oncologist demanded they continue to treat me because I'm young 29 and my heart and lungs are in good shape. I'm still here to this day. So I owe it all to that man who saved my life multiple times. I've sat with my wife and cried. Told her I was ready to go and laid patiently with my eyes closed ready to be taken away. It just didn't happen. Since that moment I've done my absolute best to enjoy the little moments in life that we easily brush past and let go unnoticed when we are busy and living a healthy normal life. I'll try to individually reply to comments where I can. Thank you everyone. There's a lot of places I still want to go. Books I want to read. Movies I want to see. Even if I don't get to experience it all before I die. I like the anticipation of it all. I haven't tried all the restaurants in my area and it actually has been a good motivator to cherish the whole life thing. I have a friend that's going through some tough times so I like to check up on him every day and encourage him. My dogs. I can't imagine leaving them behind. It's not necessarily that I like to be alive now. But the nature of life as a constant ebb and flow of thrills and disappointments implies a coming wave of joy sooner or later. Watching sunrises with a hot cup of tea. Singing my favorite songs in a place with good acoustics. Using really soft yarn to knit something nice for someone. Calling a friend and hearing the joy in their voice when they realize it's me. Snow days. Making s'mores at a bonfire. It's all the little things. I hope you can find all the little things you love in life. There's so many. Please be safe. Friend. Edit. Thank you all so much for the awards. Including my first silver. It seems better than being dead. Every time I accomplish something. Or finish an assignment. I just feel so fucking proud of myself. I feel so lucky to be alive and in the place in the world I have. There's some shit I still need to do. The list keeps growing so it's kind of an ongoing thing. Edit. Holy smokes this blew up. 
Thanks everyone for the awards and updates. Pretty sure no one will find this comment but hey. Today was a good day for me. I just got my first electric piano and I'm eager to learn this instrument. Now that is a reason to be alive. Music. I want to master this thing before I go. Edit. Thank you kind strangers for all the awards and all the reply comments wishing me luck. Really made me feel great. I've been wanting to play the piano for about 3 years now but only a few days ago I managed to convince my parents to get me one. I've been pretty depressive for the past few years for reasons but I hope this thing can get me back on track. To all of you who are in the same boat with me. I wish you all well. We're all gonna make it. Mon. All the good in this world. Joking around and laughing with your friends until you can't breathe anymore. A random dog running up to you to sniff your butt. Getting your first kiss. The smells from bakeries when you head out in the morning. Staring at the moon late at night knowing there's someone out there doing the same. Hugging your parents after not seeing them for a while. Cuddling with you so after you did the beep peep scattedly do. A stranger's baby smiling at you when you're waiting for a bus. The taste of the watermelon on a hot summer day and laying on the couch under a blanket watching the flames in the fireplace on a cold winter evening. Listening to the music in your bed on a Friday night knowing you don't have to set up an alarm for tomorrow. Texting your crush late late at night both of you being dead ass tired but neither one wanting it to stop. The feeling of accomplishment when you finally learn to tie your shoes yourself. When you finally reach the bathroom after having to pee really bad. Telling a joke and the whole group of people laughs. Reading a book at the seaside while the sun unbeknownst to you slowly burns in a dick a sibling drew on your back with the sunscreen. Finally beating a game you've been playing for weeks. Making a meme yourself and thousands of strangers on reddit like it too. When you inconsistently water your cactus but the cactus is just fine with it and it blooms to thank you and you didn't even know cactuses can bloom. When you're really tired after a workout and your muscles are sore the next day but hey you know you did something good for yourself. Starving yourself because you know grandma is going to cook your favorite meal and you have to eat it all. Donuts and dogs. Being dead kinda boring NGL. Edit. Stop giving awards cring strangers. To enjoy and experience things that make me truly happy while I still can. There's always opportunity to enjoy life. Even if it doesn't seem like it. And I'm glad I learned that rather than giving up. I keep hoping something worth living for will happen to me. Honestly. A good story. I used to devour libraries as a kid. I usually have something going on in the background while I work. And I listen to fiction podcasts voraciously. There's always a new story. But that moment when you find a good one and it connects with you? Chef's kiss. I fought for it and got it back. Stood on a bridge in December but family and therapy got me back on track. There are still a lot of lost emotions and confusion within me but my therapist and me are working on it. I never knew my father. And my wife is pregnant with our first child. I like being alive because I'm about to get the chance to be the dad I needed when I was growing up. Food and Shrek. Pretty sure no one will see this but I've actually been thinking about suicide the last couple months. I don't do it because I hope something. Or someone. Worth living will appear in my life. Edit. Thanks guys this really helps. I've been bullied and currently I'm depressed most of the time. Things have gone a little better this last month so I hope that it'll gradually get better. My firstborn was born 10 hours ago. I've gotten the opportunity to live and enjoy doing what I do. I've found interesting friends and hobbies and I'm generally happy with where I am. Edit. Spelling. Seeing the joy on my kids' faces when I come home from work. Their excitement warms my heart. Because I'm this quiet, introverted character in someone's story and I want to see how it plays out. I like having connection with other humans. It is the only thing that feels worth it to me. But it's also the thing I don't like about being alive. Life. Man. The dude voice. Really the only reason is my family and friends. The only reason I want Wooden to die is because I know it would hurt them. I love my friends. I legit do not know what it'll be without them. Or them without me. You guys are loved y'all. Humanity. Those rare moments of humanity makes me love being alive and being human. I didn't get much say in the matter but I guess I'll enjoy the ride. I don't just don't want parents to be sad. Edit. Yo NAHHH my first reward WTF. It makes me and the people I care about happy. 
seeing people's faces when they get a nice text, getting the window seat on a plane, playing with babies, flipping through a stack of records, hitting the rev limiter, perfectly ripe watermelons, my dog, everything lavender scented, a goal scored with two minutes left in the third, when the coffee cream sugar balance is flawless, painting a room with friends, the electrical buzz when you walk downtown after rain, overdressing for events, finding something you thought was lost forever. I could write a million of these and they change every day. Feelings. I love to feel. I have no idea if that will be something I can experience once I'm gone. And it's rather very fascinating. Experiencing in general is probably the better term. I can try so much and there still is something I don't know anything about. A new kind of cooking. A new sport. Climbing another mountain. Seeing new things. Having the next fall come in and see the leaves in a new pattern of red. Orange and yellow. And this is just without leaving my usual environment. The sheer difference it would make if I just now took a plane to somewhere in Asia and start a new life there is mind-boggling. But beautiful. I love that about life. It never gets old.